Let's jump into Teak's Tall Tale. All right. Or T3, as the kids like to call it. <laughs> <laughs> T-cubed. Uh, oh, nice. Okay. Hey, my name's Zachary. I just want to thank you for giving my little game a try. This is more or less a demo for a bigger solo project I've been picking away at for three-ish years. Please support this game in any way you can. Anything helps. Even just bits of feedback. Ah, well, he's in luck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God there's music. Alright, Joker's ready. I think this mic's plugged in. I'm good on bass. How about you, Teak? Look alive. Oh, sorry, I'm ready. One, two, three. Oh. So let's see. Okay, it's not working. Let me try plugging it in again. Oh, there we go. All right. We in business. Controller support wise. So this is a run and gun platformer. What inspired you to pick this game since you were responsible for the choices tonight? Well, it kind of looked kind of colorful um, and just interesting, kind of a uh, just different stuff than last time, really. Yeah. <laughs> just trying to find some, like, more, you know, like, chill kind of games. Yeah, something more, um... I guess wider appealing than a, like, weird first-person horror game. And, <laughs> um... Whatever you'd classify Mother Where Are You as. Right. Not to say they're bad, but they're not everyone's cup of tea. Exactly. <laughs> and this was published uh, quite recently, correct? Yes. I think it was just a week ago or so. Ah. From the filming of this episode. So our feedback should be very timely. Huh? Wait, my name's Oscar. What? His name's Oscar. I thought it was Teak. Uh, <laughs> I guess not. I like the alternating UI on the text boxes. It's a nice yeah, touch yeah. to just add something to what would otherwise be a static box. Mm -hmm. Should you be in bed, kid? <laughs> Don't mock me. Is he gonna ask for your lunch money? Oh, there is a sound when you pick up the cogs. Very quiet, though. Mm. The art style kind of reminds me of, like, early 90s PC games, like, kind of edutainment games with its, like, hard black outlines and kind of, uh, nice upbeat colors. Yeah, it's got kind of a classic, uh, oh, shit. classic PC kind of look. Yeah. Hashtag 90s kids, am I right? Ready fish, y'all? All 90s kids will remember these kinds of sprites. Yeah. <laughs> but the um the backgrounds are they have kind of a unique style. They look uh a little like scribbly, kinda of like uh Yoshi's Island yeah. crayon kind of style. I can see that in the, the trees a lot. Yeah. Just enjoying the ambience of nature. <laughs> Talking to that deer. <laughs> also kind of interesting that you're picking up cogs. It makes me think of Ratchet and Clank. Oh. They're not a typical uh, currency in video games. Yeah, yeah. What do you think of the music? Oh shit. It's pretty good. It's pretty catchy from what I heard. Yeah, I like it too, but I feel like, um, I don't know, it's got this 90s thing going, so like some 90s kind of 
computer game music, I think, would have suited it better. Yeah, yeah, it does have like a Game Boy or NES kind of uh, sound to it. Yeah, which is all right, you can do that, but when I, I close my eyes and I hear this music, I imagine a totally different game. Like, I imagine I'm playing Harpy Gaiden or something in the background. Right. Oh, and they have the, uh... I remember you telling me that about... Uh, I believe the second Shantae game had it? The little particle effect of skulls coming out of pits. Yes, yes. Oh, shit. That's uh, a good, uh, addition. Yeah. Oh. So his name is like Oscar Teak, I guess. Uh, they call me Teak. Oscar right. Teak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it particle skull effects for every single level in Shantae? Um, yes, I believe so in that game in particular. Mm. I feel like it doesn't have to be skulls all the time. It could be like, you know, little lava bubbles coming out of lava or something like that. Could be, yeah, anything. Just as long as you can see the pit from a blind spot if you don't know what you're jumping into. That's really all you need. Yeah. In my opinion. Also, I feel like, you know, this is obviously a nitpick, but I feel like the name of the area you're in should you know, appear for a second or two and then, like, fade out. It's kind of weird just to have this white text in the mm. right bottom corner for the whole thing. Mm. Whoa, what the... Oh, that's very Yoshi's Island. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I see that. Are you a fan of Yoshi's Island? I like it a lot. Uh, I loved it when I was a kid, but I haven't played it in a long time. But it was like amazing visually to me. Like I was just so fascinated with uh, the look of it. Yeah, like it has very good art direction. Yeah, and they they can do a lot with very little. Shit. Like, it looks amazing in, in its own way. It didn't need a FX chip or something like that to yeah. try and impress you. Yeah. Don't get dunked on, Flower, hell yeah. Oscar Teak, what happened? <laughs> We're liking that Dark World Sora and Riku got locked in at the end of Kingdom oh, yeah. Hearts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh shit, I shouldn't have killed the flower. Damn it. Thick ass thieves. <laughs> oh fuck. Dude, are you on the second round again? No, no, I'm I'm going slow. I haven't found the, the flower yet. Oh, okay. Oh, they all got kicked out. Okay. Huh. Oh, spoilers, my bad. Yeah, keep it down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can get up off the ground now, bro. Music by dogs plus plus what the fuck? <laughs> oh but wait bruh, I couldn't spend my cogs on anything. Ah. I was just about to ask if you found anything to Yeah. Spend them on. No, this Bruh, I had like three hundred something cogs. It's probably coming in the full release, I'd imagine. Yeah. <laughs> But I wonder what you would buy. Yeah. Gun upgrade. Uh, yeah, lives. that'd be my guess. Yeah. 
double jump missile yeah. launcher for... missile, yeah humming missiles maybe <laughs> for a forest animal <laughs> Oh, that's weird. I still have my cogs and health from my last oh, like playthrough. <laughs> New game plus. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, but now my controller doesn't work. That's pretty weird. Let's try. No. Ah, oh, okay. Hmm. Okay, guys, don't beat the game unless you want your controller rights revoked. <laughs> Alright, time to do this bitch on keyboard. The keyboard doesn't even work. Okay, what? Dick ass thieves, bruh. There it is. <laughs> Called him a pussy and sent him on his way. What's with those guys? Bunch of bitch asses. <laughs> Big ass thieves. <laughs> <laughs> what was Teak's tall tale, though? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> He didn't seem to be lying about anything, so... Yeah. The tall tale is that there was a tall tale. Got him. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Guessing, you know, the tall tale is going to be the adventure to come, like, after they start their band or whatever. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're going to become the big booty robbers instead of the <laughs> thick-ass thieves. <laughs> <laughs> we did that. We did. That was a fun little thing. I liked it. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty good. And uh, uh, it seems like it's coming on really nicely. I hope, uh, you know, um, the developer is able to finish it and... Seems like it could really, you know, be a solid hit. Yeah. I hope it gets the support it needs and it does well. Yeah. Just minus my uh, few little gripes here and there. Yeah. But, like, the biggest thing I liked is that it just had solid controls. I never felt yeah. like I was fighting against them. Yeah. Just like It felt good to play. It just played really well. <laughs> yeah. Wasn't too slippery. It wasn't too fast. The camera wasn't too wobbly moving around and shit and making me dizzy yeah yeah good shit bro damn <laughs> yeah gamepad recommended bro get out of here what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> I plug it in. yeah that was a weird anomaly but yeah i'm sure the developer is capable of fixing that yeah I was going to do New Game Plus, bruh, but they fucked me <laughs> over. You're going to find a place to spend your cogs, finally. <laughs> yeah. Would you like to buy controller support with your cogs? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good shit. Dick-ass thieves, 